Good morning. I'm John Delladell. Welcome to the Sunday Business Page. This morning, how Vincentian Collaborative System is partnering with K4 Connect to bring smart voice technology to Vincentian's Terrace Place Independent Living Center. Vincentian's president and CEO, Nick Fazaka, will be here to explain. Then, why Beaver County's Lincoln Park Performing Arts Center is a jewel and theatrical training ground for students in the Beaver Valley. And then, Yinzer cards are ready for a black and gold Christmas. News Radio 1020 KDK's Larry Richard and cartoonist Rob Rogers will give us a preview. It's all next right here in a special Thanksgiving weekend edition of the Sunday Business Page. This is the Sunday Business Page on KDKA-TV. And a very good morning to you. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday morning with us. We hope that you had a happy Thanksgiving. Smart voice technology is certainly the wave of the future, and Vincentian Collaborative System is at the head of the class in bringing that technology to independent senior living communities. When Vincentian's Terrace Place opens next spring, its residents will be able to take advantage of everything from smart home wellness and living capabilities to tablet and Amazon Alexa voice technology. We're very pleased to welcome Nick Vizaka, President and CEO of Vincentian Collaborative System to the Sunday Business Page. Nick, welcome to the show. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for having me, John. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, now let me ask you first about Vincentian and what this particular kind of independent living is all about. So into Terrace Place at Vincentian's, a 91 unit independent living. Uh, the unique thing about Terrace Place at Vincentian is we're going to put one of those units aside and we're going to have college students live there uh, from La Roche that will be, inter it'll be an intergenerational community. Wow. Uh, so they will actually interact with our seniors doing different uh, activities and almost like a grandchild, uh, you know, doing chores for them and, and really socialization. Uh, we find that social isolation is, is really a, a thing that hits seniors hard as they get older, but it also, it affects college students. So to bring the two together. Well, you've been committed to this kind of independent living program for a number of years. This is not brand new, right? Right. Vincentian actually has been around since 1924. Uh, the independent living, we currently have Vincentian Villas in the North Hills. We have 64 units, but we also run three nursing homes. Uh, Vincentian Home in the North Hills, Marion Manor in Green Tree, and then in Stanton Heights, we have Demerilac, Vincentian Demerilac. Well, tell us about this technology because it sounds a little, well... <laughs> <laughs> Creepy? Well, I mean, are we talking about Alexa everywhere watching us, or well, what is it exactly? Well, so, so someone asked me to explain it once, and I said, just think of I Love Lucy meets the Jetsons, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so K4 Connect, it's a single platform, and it'll connect the seniors uh, or the, the, the folks living at Terrace Place with the rest of the community in Terrace Place. So the different events, they can share photos, they can communicate. Uh, the coolest thing is they can actually adjust their thermostat and lights from an iPad or an iPhone at any time from anywhere. Well, this assumes that seniors are as technolo technologically <laughs> with it as their grandchildren. Well, I'm going to give you an example. We ran a 10 uh, uh, pilot with 10 of our residents for right. four months. At the beginning, they were terrified, scared, because you're right, technology is something new, it's something foreign to them. Right. After the four months, we couldn't get the technology off of them. They did not want to give it up because they were able to communicate with their grandchildren, they were able to communicate with their children and the others within the community. So it, it gave them a sense of, I don't have to leave my apartment, and when I do leave, things are ready to go, things are all ready to happen. Well, I think it's wonderful stuff, and I, you know, I learned from my uh, adult children more about <laughs> this stuff than I could ever possibly know. And it is true, once you learn it, you really love it and appreciate it. Tell me more about, I, I certainly can relate to the connection yes. to children and grandchildren through this technology. But what really interested me was the way you could control your environment. Talk to me a little more about that. So a lot of times with our seniors, uh, it's too hot, it's too cold. Right. Uh, they don't know how to adjust the, the thermostat or it's, it, they adjust it and it gets too hot. Now they can have their child actually from a remote location help, it, help them adjust it. Uh, one example is when they go grocery shopping. So when a senior leaves and goes grocery shopping, they turn the thermostat down. They don't want to waste energy. Right. And when they get back, it's a cold apartment. It's a dark apartment. Well, now, before they leave the Giant Eagle or they leave Ross Park Mall, they'll adjust their thermostat and they'll turn their lights on right before they get there so they have a warm apartment 
and they'll have a lighted uh, walkway into their apartment. And they're doing all this from a smartphone? Smartphone, uh, iPad, all the technology. It's one platform. So K4, as it evolves and as technology evolves, K4 will be able to adapt. Now, what about uh, Alexa? <laughs> Is Alexa provided as part of all this? K4 Connect actually just uh, had an agreement with Amazon, and Alexa will be part of it. So it, medication reminders, ah. uh, different appointments, physician appointments. Alexa, what, what are my appointments today? So the senior will know everything that's going on. So it's fully connected. Is this the first of its kind in the Pittsburgh area? In the Pittsburgh area, it is the first of its kind. It's uh, taken off out west in California, uh, but just recently. So, we, you know, our goal is to make innovation and technology uh, woven into the DNA of Vincentian, and this is what we are going forward. So, again, this is going to be in your new re independent living area called Terrace Place, is it? Terrace Place at Vincentian. And so when somebody signs up to live there, you're going to train them. We are going to train them. The college students will train them. This isn't something that they can buy into. They're going to be already equipped with this. That, well, that's good. I mean, they don't have to pay extra or anything like that for these kinds of Not services. Not at all. Not at all. And so it's really just a function of them learning how to, learning. How to do all this. That's right. And then they can enjoy it and be connected. And be connected. And that's the, that's the main point. Where do you see this technology going, Nick? Is this going to be really in all residential, senior residential places before too long? Yes, I think moving forward, it's not gonna be a question of if, it's gonna be just a question of how are we gonna do it and to what capabilities. Right. It will just be embedded into any new build. It's just the way that's gonna, especially with the boomer generation, they're gonna demand more. And as folks retire, for some of them, they're going on to their second or third career. So we have to be prepared for that. Yeah, and that, that's really where I wanted to sort of end finally is, is do you see demand for that then from people, maybe like me, you know, those of us who have hit our 60s, we might not be retired yet or looking for independent living places yet. Right. But we know technology, and so we want to take advantage of it. You want to take advantage of it. The boomers are now used to it. They've grown up with it. They've gone through work with it, and they, they're going to expect it when they right. get to the next phase, next chapter of their life. So I don't think it's any different, whether it's you or the, the older one. I will tell you, are, it's a 55 plus, and we're seeing a lot more younger and younger people moving in and continuing sure. to work. And uh, finally then, is it still available? Do you have space available if people are interested in checking you out? Well, I would say there is space available, but uh, as I said, it was 90 units, 91. Um, we have 700 names on a list, on an interest list waiting. Uh, we've been taking wow. deposits, we're taking reservations. Wow. We're about a third of the way full. Uh, it opens March of 2019. Uh, we expect to be full by spring. Well, Nick Vazaka, thank you for coming in and sharing with us uh, this information. This sounds like a really interesting place to be, particularly for our high-tech senior citizens. And there's a whole there's bunch a of whole them. Bunch of They're them. far more. My mother in her <laughs> 80s was well into this stuff. So it's good to have you on the show. Thank, thank you, you John. again thank for you being for with having us. Me. When the Sunday Business Page continues, how the Lincoln Park Performing Arts Charter School in Beaver County is teaching students the beauty and skill of theatrical performance and production. Stick with us. Sunday Business Page will be back in just a moment.